Hi guys, welcome back to another product unboxing and review video by Daniel and John. And as you can see, we're looking at dishwasher. It's made by uh, Comfy. And I'll just show you the model number, KWH-TD802-W. This is the dimensions. And over to you, John. Right, so it's just arrived. It's about £270. It's a countertop one, isn't it? Countertop, not yeah. saying we've paid that for it, but it's about £270. And it was delivered by Amazon. So we'll just do what we've got in the box and then we'll do another part, what it's like and things, yeah. So you see what you're getting for your money. So as you can see, um, it's packed fairly well. I must say, I've had a couple of things from Amazon. Um, it's some bobs over the time and this delivery was really good. Has some delivery instruction on top. Two person to lift the thing off. You never know what you're gonna get when you get inside these boxes. Right. And it is fairly big as well. Polystyrene. This is the bigger version of the models they sell. Right, a bit of MDF if you want it. Oh, so right. I suppose that protects any damage on top. Oh, that's interesting, I've never seen that Quite before. Quite useful for a little project. Oh, I've never seen that before. I've never seen them include that. Polystyrene too, I suppose. Yep. Just been to the tip because we've taken that down there. Bag. That covers the whole appliance. Uh, I like that. It's got holes in it. Just for safety. Safety yeah. is quite a good thing. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's clever. So once you relax, once you cut these straps, instead of struggling to lift it out, Tell you what. Yeah, that's very good um, packaging design. I tell you, whoever's got this difficult. packaging, comfy, that's 10 out of 10 already. Yes, so. yeah, sometimes things are difficult, sometimes appliances are difficult to get out of the boxes, aren't they? Especially um, TVs and things like that. You have to wrestle with them. So, this is the actual appliance here. We'll have a quick look over it. So, so. it all looks fairly good. This looks like a little. It's, it's to go this uh, mist in here is because it's uh, it's been in a cold outside. van. So let's have a look inside. So, if you go any further, I'm just going to tell you why we bought this. We've got one here, yeah, but you have to bend down. And it's not just me, and people are getting a little bit older, some people in the house, so wouldn't it be easier if we could just pop it on there? Next to the sink, undo, you haven't got to keep lifting down and dragging stuff out, so that's the main reason we bought it. Plus, you don't need a great big thing like this, all this water electric, we get something smaller, newer. This will fit anywhere, it could fit on top of a tumble dryer or wash machine. And it, apparently, this model is for eight places, which is interesting. And um, it does fit big plates, 28 centimetres or 280 yeah. millimetres. Now, at the back here, there's so obviously the, the back. drain hose, yeah, and power cord, uh, water inlet as well, water inlet there, um, it's always cold inlet. Let's see what we've got in the front. Uh, it's obviously standard white enamel, timer on and off, program, eco. Uh -huh. Run pause, yes. It's got all that now. That sound is a quality catch. I'll tell you what I like about that. Yeah. So it's like the thing's plasticky. Plasticky. Right. It looks metal, but it's but it's plastic. plastic. I might so be cast aluminium. That's cast yeah. aluminium, I think. And it feels a bit more quality some of these yeah. bigger rounds. So in there you put your Tablet. It's nice and, and easy. Rinse aid. Rinse aid. Just like a normal dishwasher. So it's basically. all well packaged. Looks really well. I like this. It's all very well packaged. So things don't roll around and um, break. So if it moves, which is really good. I always say, if you get something really well packaged, that is a sign that. It's definitely well packaged. 
you have to, and it's got cable tied here as well. I'm just going to reach and get some scissors for a minute. So we've got a bottom tray and a top tray. Let's see what we've got in here. And that top tray cold is the supply. cold water supply. So oh. they do. So they do give you this. They do give you this with it as well. Just check you've got both your washers in yeah. there. Right. So we've got that. Got a couple of little trays to do what you want to do with. So that's quite good. So you get a little bit in there. Can you adjust um, that? No, that no. that tray's fixed where it is. Okay. So I guess you get, let's just see, shall we? So you get your cups in there, things like that. That's always a good thing to see. On the bottom, you've got your little thing to put your salt in there. Yeah. There. That comes out to here and stops. Yeah. I guess you can lift it off and get it out. Oh, you can if you need to. Comes out real easy. Let's just salt down there. How easy is it to get back in? Fairly easy. You've got your filter as well. So it's like it's basically like a normal filter. Mini machine. Uh, that surprises me. F energy efficient. Yeah. I thought that had been better than that, but no. F R. I think going down is the, is the better one. Well, going down. Well, going down is worse, obviously, but. They recently changed this, so things that were better are now a bit worse because obviously more energy efficient stuff's come out. So they, yeah. they changed it recently, so it's probably not actually as bad as you think it is. It's just it's not hyper hyper don't energy take efficient. Take our word for that, because that could be that it's yeah good. Don't, yeah, don't take our word for I it. I think that's but, this, it's but quite hey, good. but this these ones here could be like super energy efficient, like really expensive appliances type thing. Uh, I think that's a sticker if you want to stick it on, it's up to you. Yeah, it is. Right, so. Eight place settings. Oh, it's this, yeah, sorry. Eight litres of water. Run time, and that's the set thing on it. QR code if you want to scan it. Um, thanks for buying it. It's quite a nice thank you thing. I think in the back. Obviously, it's good to see that, so there's a helpline. You can contact them if you need to. Uh, full. Part one, my God. How many parts are this? this? Okay. Spare parts talks about all sorts of things. Maintenance, cleaning, spare parts, uh, troubleshooting, and remedies to fix it. Right, so that's a standard thing. Put that there. So far, so good. It's quite a, a big area. Yeah. Because if we look at this is, if we look at the base of that, and you look at the base of that, there's no difference. That's a little bit wider, but not by much. But not by much. If, not if it isn't, if it isn't the same thing, it it's might just be how I'm looking at it. So you've got your top shelf, which is a little bit lower, and you've yeah. got your bottom shelf, which all looks the same. And that's an integrated one. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't have thought you'd get that much less with this. So you can get, um, I think, a four, seven, one, or a six, but we've gone for the eight. Um, so what we'll do, we'll sort of plumb it in. And then we'll show you. Now, that, yeah. in the advert or a video, I saw something that connected to the end of the tap, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. On the advert, promotional I, I advert think for this. So. I think there was something, yeah. Uh, went on and you just connected your water to it. This isn't um, supplied with this, but not a problem. So we'll get it plumbed up and we'll give it a spin and we'll see how well it cleans the dishes up. Anyway, see you in a bit. Right, so the machine is installed and it's running and we're just gonna run through a couple of things we've found that will be interesting to you and then we'll show you about the programs and things. Yeah, so just in case you've never put a dishwasher in yourself before, all dishwashers are connected to your cold supply and uh, normally under the sink. Uh, your waste is normally connected under your sink as well. But saying that, you could just put the waste pipe in a sink with this as long as it's secured down so that might save your job. Um, when you connect your water supply at the back of the machine it's the one with the right angle on. 
Uh, just make sure that it's not kinked before you turn your machine on because it's quite low down. There's only about that much gap between the top it's and the bottom. Down at the back there. So just check it's not kinked. If you think you've done everything right and there's no water supply, you'll have a kink hose at the back because it's that low. Just you make, need sure, to make sure it goes up at the right sure place. Make sure it runs yeah. through and gradual, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing that I noticed, um, just in case people are wondering, there's a protective film all the way around and on here as well. Sheet and on here. So initially, if you look there, I thought it was a paint issue, but it isn't. It's a protective film. Um, so we've got various programs. Um, we've got it on a 90 minute at the moment. That one there. And how do you get your programs? Turn your power on. Uh, select your program by pushing it till it, it just moves along. Then you can start and stop. You can, it, providing it hasn't been on too long. Um, you see there's two dashes there. That's the pause button. So if you get to put a pan in, you can pop it in. Um, that is for rinse aid. It's coming on. But obviously, with modern dishwasher tablets and sachets and pouches, they've got the rinse aid in, but we probably will just put some in. There's that one there. It's for salt. And that goes in the bottom of your machine. Um, it's dishwasher salt you can get from any, any supermarket. Just fill it up and you can set in degrees how hard your water is. That's basically it. And that's that's remaining time, depending on what program you've chosen. This was the 90 minute. We've had it on for a few minutes now, obviously. Will, These are the programs. I will say we're just doing this in brief, but it is quite a comprehensive and one of the better um, manuals that I've uh, read if I'm honest. Um, That's just salt. I think we showed that previously in the, video, in the first part of the video. Yeah, it's really um, comprehensive. I don't even know if it shows. So. The manual's split up into different parts basically. Yeah, cleaning. It's got everything you would need to assemble it, taking it to bits, showing. So just have a, a look through this. And the good thing about this manual, it's it's large and it's clear. Yeah, it's very so easy to read. If, you know, you, you, um, and you it's go. got all about the different settings here and plumbing in. Um, you, there is a delay button on here. Um, it's not something we would use. Uh, you just press it and you press it to get the various, like say, Timer. start and start in so many minutes, etc. Um, even shows you how to load your baskets correctly. That's the upper one. That's the lower one. Just to get a good optimum get wash. Yeah. Um, things. But like we were saying before, there, there's a dishwasher here. Um, there's not a lot, really. Not a lot of difference, not really, is there? No. Between that and that, just the um, size. So, key benefits with this. This comes down, you're not bending down all the time yeah. if you're a little bit older. Um, and it's not very heavy either, is it? No, it isn't. It's and got a little uh, bit of weight to it, but it's not It's not super heavy. It's sort of good as well because um, I've had young children. And if you've got this, at least they can't climb in it. Yeah. So that, that might help. Um, there is obviously different sizes of this one. We chose the big one because we want to try and replicate what we had there as, as much as possible. So that's what that looks like. That's, that's about you half could, a metre wide. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, you could but. stand this on a top of the washing machine or yeah. dishwasher or tumble dryer. Yeah, you could have it in a space. This would machine. help you. You could even have this in a cupboard. Um, I guess these are great for caravans, motorhomes. So I'd say if you look at this mealy fridge, the sort of top end of appliances. And then you look at the this here. It's a similar quality. It does look nice. It does. It looks very clean and nice. Yeah, yeah. it's a very similar yeah. um, quality. So for the money, two hundred and seventy quid, and you just lift it up and take it anywhere and move it. And I guess a, another key benefit with this is when you've got one of these plumbed in or a big one, they're difficult to move to clean. Yeah, they are. With yeah. this, you can just move it out. You literally could. I won't do it now, but you just could lift it up or slide it along depending on what sort of work top you've got and give it clean and things. And you can keep the top nice and clean and use that for storage as well. So as I said, we had it on the we've got it on the rapid 90 at the moment and that is sort of the sound from it. Which it does put out a fair bit of noise, but that's a good thing because you know it's working. So yeah. at least you know it's working. So once you press the start button you know it's you know it's working. It's quite um, but very easy to use and 
Yeah. And it's got heat in it now, you can feel it. And it didn't take long for the program to start either. It's like, to be honest, this sound is like a trickling brook or a weir. It does have that kind of. Yeah. I think different, as I said earlier, I think the different programs would probably sound a bit different. Have we got any more to say about it? or? Uh, no, I'd just say it's good value, well made. Um, definitely buy another one. Um, I can't see any, depending on your circumstances. I mean, you can see it on the floor, you can see it on the worktop. I guess if you really could stack them, depending depending what you need. I do for student houses, most homes, everywhere really. Yeah. I'd, I'd definitely have another one. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, this is how you get your plates clean. You help us along a bit and subscribe. Thank you.